Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. Today's video covers the great in-wall and in-ceiling speaker options from Bowers & Wilkins, which is one of our favorite speaker brands at Audio Advice. Bowers & Wilkins has been one of the top high-performance speaker brands for decades and utilized in Abbey Road Studios, Skywalker Sound, and BBC and more. Now let's get started. The BMW lineup of speakers you can build into your walls or ceilings is one of the largest on the market, with a model for just about every possible situation. For home theater use, we like to break built-in speakers into three categories, in-wall, in-ceiling, and purpose-built left, center, and right speakers, referred to as LCRs. If you look at all of the BMW models, just picking ones within these groups gives you over 20 models to choose from. To help you find the best one for your system and budget, we decided to pick what we felt are three of the top values in each of the categories. If you start with these options, you can easily adjust up or down based upon your needs. You probably know Bowers & Wilkins makes some of the best and most expensive speakers in the world. What you may not know is how much they invest in R&D to push the performance envelope. They recently moved from their old facility into an even bigger one at 30,000 square feet full of the latest test equipment with multiple anaconic chambers. All of the R&D they do results in some amazing state-of-the-art speakers, but the aspect we love is the ways they find to put new technology into very affordable products over time. Many of the built-in BMW speakers share similar technology to what you will see in their best speaker systems. For instance, BMW developed a way to use Kevlar as a driver material decades ago in the top-of-the-line 801 speaker. We love the fact that many of these current models use a blue aramid fiber cone, which is their latest version of Kevlar. A couple of revisions ago, again, in their best 800 models, they started using a tapered enclosure behind the tweeter. This was developed using laser analysis to find a way of reducing tweeter distortion. A version of that technology can now be found in a lot of these built-in speakers too. I also love the way all of the models have a very consistent sound that is pleasing to the ear over long periods of time. First, I will cover speakers you can build into a ceiling. If you count them all, there are 16 BMW models of in-ceiling speakers. For today's home theaters, in-ceiling speakers will primarily be used for Dolby Atmos height channels. Or if you're doing a 5.1 system without Dolby Atmos, they might be used for the surround channels. In either case, we feel you are better served with a speaker that allows you to aim the speaker drivers at the primary listening area if possible. There are three in-ceiling BMW models that stand out to us as great values in the category. The CCM664, which stands for Custom Ceiling Mount with a 6-inch driver, is the first model in the series that has a tweeter you can aim at the listening area. All of the BMW models with a rotating tweeter even have an EQ switch to change the speaker's response curve based on how steep the angle is. You have a setting for 0, 15, and 30 degree angles. This model uses a one inch aluminum soft dome tweeter in BMW's special black glass fiber cone for the six inch base mid-range driver. This is our most popular in-ceiling speaker at Audiovice as it has great sound for the money. The CCM664 can work very well as your Atmos high speakers. We also see many people using them as the main surrounds in a discrete home theater system in family rooms. When you move up to the CCM683, you will spend more, but you start to get into much better tech. The CCM683 has a rotating tweeter with the same type of EQ controls as the CCM664. However, the speaker components are all upgraded. These use a 1-inch Nautilus swirl-loaded aluminum dome tweeter coupled with a larger 8-inch mid-range woofer. This cone material used for this driver steps up to their blue aramid fiber. The CCM683 is the least expensive model where you get the larger 8-inch woofer and these better drivers, which is one reason we have it on our list. The other reason is these just sound fantastic for the price. If you're using the BMW 600 series anniversary or 700 series speakers for your main front three, these match up very well for Atmos high speakers or surround speakers in a less elaborate 5.1 system. So as an example, this is the CCM683. You can see the larger eight inch woofer here and you can rotate the tweeter 
uh, to get it uh, pointed in the direction that you want. And then you can see the EQ button at the bottom that you can move based upon um, how off axis you are. Also, we've made a whole video on how to install these. You literally put this up in the ceiling, these lock down, you can pull them from the inside and we'll show you how to do this in the video. Um, and then literally this just drops in. There's three push buttons, you pop these in and it's done and you're ready to roll. Our final suggestion for in-sealing is the CCM 7.5 S2, which is a very serious in-sealing speaker. If you own a 700 series BMW speaker, or even some of the top of the line 800 models, you probably know all about the continuum mid-bass driver they use. BMW developed this special driver a few years ago for their 800 models and has been moving its great tech into more affordable products like the 700 series. To learn more about the 700 or 800 series, click on the link in the description to see the videos I also did on them. I was really impressed to see the S2 version of the 7.5 in ceiling added the continuum driver with a 7 inch version of it. The great news for home theater is in the CCM 7.5 S2, the entire driver assembly is at an angle so you can simply rotate the entire speaker to aim at the primary listening area when you install it. Even more impressive is just how low in bass the response in this speaker can reach. Their 3 dB down point is 32 Hz, which is incredible for an in ceiling speaker. These move up to the same carbon dome tweeter found in the 700 series. Needless to say, the CCM 7.5 S2 is ideal for Atmos height channels in a great BMW home theater system. We use these as off-axis Atmos channels in a killer attic to theater conversion. You can check out the video of that install in the link in the description. For those of you wanting to do an all-in ceiling 5.1 system in a family room, three of these across the front with their angled enclosure can serve you well as your main front channels and simply add another pair for the rears. In-wall speakers, as the name implies, mount into your walls. In the BMW lineup, they have nine models to select from. A few of the models are also considered LCR speakers, which I'll cover at the end. The most common use case for in-wall BMW speakers is for the surround channels. In today's world of object-based surround sound, you want to have your main surrounds and rear surrounds close to ear level. In-wall speakers are perfectly suited for this position as most home theater or media rooms do not have the space to set up large box speakers to the sides and rear of the main seats. In some cases, you might even use this type of speaker as your main front three speakers. We do recommend if you go this route to not scrimp on the fronts as they are the most important speakers in your theater, especially the center channel. The CWM664, which stands for custom wall mount with a six inch driver, is a great entry level in wall speaker that will work well for surround channels. They pair up nicely with the 600 series BMW speakers for your main three channels. The CWM664 uses a six inch glass fiber mid-range woofer with a one inch soft dome tweeter that uses a variant of BMW's tapered tweeter found in their more expensive speakers. When you move up to the CWM663, you'll get a die cast chassis with the better blue aramid fiber mid-range woofer driver and an aluminum dome tweeter. I find the mid-range performance to be improved on these compared to the CWM664. If your budget permits, these will be a better match for surrounds to the upper level 600 models. Or if you are putting together an in-wall system, I much prefer these for the front three channels over the CWM664s. Finally, on the wall mount side, the CWM 7.5 S2 falls into two categories. It's basically a 700 S2 707 speaker built to be mounted in a wall. You'll get the carbon dome tweeter with a five inch continuum mid-range base driver with flow port, which is BMW's special port technology. The CWM 7.5 S2 even comes with a special back box designed to give it the exact amount of acoustic cavity for the woofer to work perfectly. I love the mid-range clarity the CWM 7.5 S2 provides. These sound as good or better than a lot of high performance bookshelf speakers. With bass response down to around 50 hertz, they will mate up great with a fast subwoofer. They can be used as the main front three channels or as perfectly matching surround speakers if you have 700 level main speakers. Left, center, right, or LCR speakers in the BMW line are where you get into models that rival their 700 and 800 series speakers. And that is saying a lot. The typical use case for LCR speakers is for the front three channels. You can mount them behind an acoustically transparent front projection screen or to the sides of a TV or screen with the center channel under or over the screen. 
The larger ones are designed to allow you to turn the speaker sideways for a center channel. And if you're going for the best sound you can get, consider using these for your surround speakers for amazingly detailed effects. The CWM 7.5 S2 is one heck of a great speaker. We use them in many situations as the main front three LCR speakers. When you move up to the CWM 7.4 S2, you get more of what makes the 7.5 special. There are two four inch Aramid fiber base drivers and two four inch continuum cone mid-range drivers made it with a one inch carbon dome tweeter. You get a lot of performance in a very skinny package, which means these can be used on either side of a TV with the center channel turned sideways. We also like to use these as the surround speakers in a 700 S2 series theater. So I just want to give you a sense on the back of the 7.4 S2. It's just incredibly well made, not just in terms of installation capability, which you'll see in the installation video, but also in terms of just the performance of it and the quality of the components. If you want your in-wall theater to sound great on music, this model paired up with the right subwoofer can sound quite amazing. My only negative for these who want a back box is that the 7.4 S2 is the only 7 series model that does not include a back box. Bear in mind that the back box is bigger than the speaker, which is fine for new construction, but if you're installing it to an existing room, you will have to do some sheetrock repair if you use the back box. So for retrofits where you're not using a back box, the 7.4 S2 is an ideal solution. We made a great video of a terrific sounding BMW home theater installation in a repurposed bonus room that uses the 7.4 S2s as the fronts if you're considering a BMW theater, check out that video linked in the description to see the full installation from concept to completion. Now we get to my favorite BMW LCR speaker, the CWM 7.3 S2. These sound just fantastic for the price. You get the sound of some of BMW's better tower speakers in a well-designed enclosure you can mount in the wall. The CWM 7.3 S2 uses the same carbon dome tweeter as the other two models with a single four inch continuum cone mid-range driver and coupled with two of the BMW Aerofoil six inch base drivers. These sound very similar to BMW 703 S2 model, which is a fabulous sounding speaker. A great feature this model has is the ability to rotate the tweeter mid-range section should you need to mount it horizontally, for instance, under or over a screen. I also love the fact that these come with a very solid back box that can be installed by just cutting a hole the size of the speaker you are mounting. While they cost more than the CWM 7.4 S2s, these are a terrific value when you consider the great audio they can provide for the money. Plus, they're even easier to drive than the 7.4 S2 with much more dynamic sound. If you have the budget, these are a great choice to go behind an acoustically transparent screen using three mounted vertically or two on either side of a large flat panel with the center channel mounted horizontally. The clarity and mid-range you get out of these is just fantastic. With BMW, you will have no shortage of great models to choose from when building your dream home theater or media room. We have a detailed written review comparing these models at audioadvice.com along with a host of home theater buying guides, installation, and how-to videos, and inspiration gallery. If you're mapping out a new theater or upgrading your current one, I suggest you make use of our free home theater design tool at audioadvice.com to get started. Then set up a free consultation with one of our home theater experts to help find the best speakers for your plan and budget. If you have any questions about these or any other home audio or home theater gear, be sure to give us a call, chat with one of our home theater experts on audioadvice.com, or stop into one of our award-winning showrooms. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also check out the playlist section of our YouTube channel to easily find all the content you're looking for. We'll see you next time.